Nice. Finally got it. <laughs> that looks great. Wow. You'll be able to uh, These are awesome. foil that. Yep. Very nice. Just a nice. little bit of grindering. Yep. Not too much. Yeah, it will look great. Now you just got to find the uh, slot so that you can slide that back off there. Pretty much usable. This one needs yeah. the most grinding. A little bit of grinding on it still. That was the first one we did. Mm -hmm. And we should have cut it the other way. Yep. Yeah. And if we did. Then you'd be able to see the line better. Actually, why don't we fix it? Yep. You'll have to clean the deck off though. Because otherwise the glass will scratch it. You can see that's a pretty cool looking piece here. Take people a while to figure out how this was done. <laughs> you probably, probably don't run into that kind of thing much in uh, real life. All you have is that one little cut line in there. And that could be hidden in a piece of artwork pretty easily. Neat. Well, hi, little dude. I didn't realize it was you barking out there. I didn't realize it was you barking out there. It's raining out there. You don't want to go out there. This one is Nice. I knew you'd be happy. <laughs> Let's see that ring. Very nice. This is awesome. These Good. are such pretty pieces of glass. Yeah. It's a little dirty now. Old coasters. You get the idea of it. They're old coasters. And a couple of them are actually uh, old ashtrays. But essentially, you can't really work something like this into a stained glass piece because it's it's too thick. Yep. So you cut that bevel, yep. and then it's thin enough where you can now get a glass on the edge of it. And I've got some really wide foil. Plus, like I said, you end up with these interesting little creatures, which can be like little hanging things, part of a... Uh, there's options are yeah. endless. So this is the one I was trying to cut, which I'm gonna just toss because it's... Nope. Think of a new project. There's gotta be something else you can do with it too. Finish it? Yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. That one's cool. Yeah. Imagine that in the, you know, the light going through. Once it's clean, it'll have a little bit of a prism effect on it. And that will just be a really neat piece. And it's definitely better than the ashtray it once was. Because not too many people use ashtrays anymore. Good for us. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, this is what this sort of thing can be used for. This is a little hanging thing that's got all these pieces in it. And that would be basically, well, you can see her swoops here. Okay. And that would just hold that stuff in the air. Like a little balancing act. I think the big flower was nice here too, right there. Yeah. And there's just so many options with that. Definitely pretty cool. Yeah. But, definitely couldn't have done it without our speedster. Oh, this big beast is getting its uh, getting its money's worth that finally. It's an old big beast. <laughs> now, how do you drain it? So we'll just unscrew this thing here. So you just undo this. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna drain it into the tank below, or what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. Well, the whole thing's gonna have to be. What? This whole thing's coming out. This it's gonna drain from there. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So you want to set the speedster on top of that? What are you going to do? I thought you were just going to drain it into the sink. Uh, I don't really want to drain it in the sink. i got to move my grinder. No, out. you don't. 
the grinder has feet, the water will run underneath it. Don't even move the grinder. You don't need to. Bad woman. Get away. No. You're a bad woman. I'm not. Okay. It's a mess. You're a semi bad woman? No. Alright, so this thing just unscrews. I just want to make sure that you. There is something under there, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's draining. And then we'll make sure we empty the tank up top so it doesn't uh, crack. So all you want to do is just use the water to clean the surface so that there's no glass left behind for your next run. That's why I was asking if you had one of the small flux brushes. Easier to fit them in there. This is better. Stiffer. Maybe. It's too stiff, isn't it? Mm hmm but yeah, don't go with the flux brush like I was talking about, because that's a super bad idea. Yeah, this one's soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is way better. No, this is good. This one's nice there you and go. soft. Cool. There. So just so you can see, we're running the water. And that's going to help clean the tank and clean the other, the rest of it. It's actually, you can re redirect this to the deck. I'm turning it. I think we need some of that water to clean the deck. Just like scrubbing a teeny tiny battleship. I think I need a coffee. Hi, Ted. Yeah. <laughs>